hey there people, welcome to a delicious Saturday afternoon around 4 o'clock-ish. Well, I figured today I would go out and give the tractor a try after we've cleared the deck and everything and um, my grass, well the grass is not too bad, it's the fucking dandelions. They're popping through like a son of a bitch. Don't know how well this is going to work. I spent an hour to set this thing up by the way and I forgot to charge it. But uh, it's been festering since the last uh, lawn tractor time when Rex and I went up in the woods. And it still has full battery. Look, you can sort of tell. You know, once you look past the scratches. Yeah, the case is all fucked up but uh, the lens isn't so that's perfect. And uh, we're going to... I was going to hook it up to the helmet and put the voice recorder in and do a lawnmower vlog, but I still haven't gone out and bought new batteries for the voice recorder. i got to find some AAA friggin' nickel metal hydrides, uh, whatevs, can't find them. And I don't have any AAAs in here just to chuck into one, so you just put a regular alkaline AAA into it and give her, you know. It just won't charge when you plug it in, but I don't have any. So I can't, but uh, we're going to get out there and fire up the tractor and do the backyard. And then uh, we're going to test out the 5W30 in the lawnmower and do the front yard. A lot of people are saying I'm going to break my mower by doing that. But uh, I chatted with Dad and he's like, what the fuck kind of oil do you think was in there before? Like, it's just freaking 5W30. He goes, that's all he ever uses. Ah, uh, we'll do it a couple times and uh, then we'll probably swap it out and I'll put that SAE30 shit into it because I saw that at the at the Hortons. No, at the crappy tire. So, any hoozle, let's pitter patter and have at her and get her asses out there and quit being fucking lazy even though I woke up an hour ago. Frig sakes, let's do this. Also something I want to do afterwards is uh, get this fucking mess all cleaned up. That's all beer cans and, and other junk. I want to get that all cleared up and crushed and bagged and thinking about returning it. How's that Going. Right now I'm downloading that uh, game, what's it called? Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a go. Um, I don't need my cell phone, that'll just get break. I got an Eldarte, but it needs more snot. And, uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of Eldartes, check out my new Eldarte. It's a friggin' Nintendo controller with a DNA 30 into it. Chooch is pretty good. <coughs> when the cotton's wet. <coughs> Try this again. Like it's not too bad, I don't have it really built up right now and, and things. But uh, pretty friggin' awesome. I do say so myself, you know, it fits my attitude because I'm a video game nerd and uh, all that jazz. But anyway, enough dicking around. Grab this camera, go out to that mower, fire it up, fire it up, fire it up, and uh, see if we can fucking plow through some dandelions. And by plow, I mean mow, because, uh, well, all the yellow ones have turned into the bushy ones, which means they're fucking dropping seeds. Which means come August, when we get the new crops of dandelions, they're going to be massive. We're going to have enough dandelions back there to make three vats of wine. But that's not what I'm doing with them. I'm just knocking them down. Still haven't filled my propane tank. Got to get around to doing that one of these days. Not a big deal. Just want to make sure everything held on over here. Uh, yup, she's still on. Same with the other side is good. We'll just uh, get this shit out of the way. You know, the old fashioned way of doing it. And we will clip the GoPro right onto the mount. Perfect. So we'll fire that up and hopefully this works. Wish me luck. Despite your guys' comments, I frigged up, and uh, the deck came off on this side here, which caused the belt to fall off mid-mow. So, got me a washer, and I can chuck it on. We'll see how that goes.
Alrighty, we have no washers that'll actually do it. So what I've gone ahead and done was just rifle the nail through it. Hopefully that holds. Oh, it probably won't. But let's get out there and do a couple more strips. Spent more time dicking around with it because that last idea didn't hold and I found a cotter pin and I can't find a washer that'll fit that freaking thing so I don't know we'll try this see if it goes if not I'm gonna finish the mower I finish the lawn with the push mower and uh, then I'm gonna say fuck it I'm gonna take off the deck again bust out that stupid fucking cotter pin hole bolt and I'm running a standard bolt right through it because Enough of this cotter pin nonsense. A bolt in the washer will hold a hell of a lot better than a fucking little piece of tin. Alright, let's get back out there. Hopefully this holds. to do some work on this fucking piece of shit because the belt won't stay on the uh, deck won't stay on I need a washer I said I'm not going to freaking crappy tire to pick up a washer because uh, it's kind of an expensive drive to go pick up a 49 cent piece so I said fuck that and I just mowed the lawn with the push mower I really wish I would have taken an antihistamine before this because I'm allergic to the smell of cut grass but uh, yeah was able to do most of this with um, the ride on, but uh, ended up having to uh, finish it off with the push. And the front is done with the push because that rider is fucking chazzled. It needs some serious work and stuff. So, whatevs. Anyway, I really need an allergy pill. I also need to bring my beer cans inside and figure out how many I have and uh, go from there, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, let me turn the light on real quick. That's a little better. So, uh, I got all my uh, my cans crushed and counted. There's 67 of them. Still got two that I haven't crushed and counted, but there's 67 of them. And uh, I'm thinking about going to the beer store, dropping them off, and then grabbing a six pack of something. Just, you know, not to get too hammered tonight, but uh, maybe to get a good buzz going. Thinking that could be a good idea. Um, you guys are definitely right. I definitely do need a washer for that tractor because that cotter pin ain't gonna do shit. So uh, gonna have to figure something out for that. And yeah, the other option is is if I like take a piece of bent coat hanger, maybe, 
and wedge it between the little hole in the cotter pin and that would give it uh, what the fuck I went to go and install friggin Winamp because my buddy's doing a radio show tonight uh, honk 2 uh, 4x4 I think it is on the YouTubes or 2x4 I can't remember um, but uh, he's doing a radio show and why is that still coming out there we go uh, so I need a program called Winamp because it really licks the llama's ass so oh, let me just make sure they're not installing any shit on here that they shouldn't be installing but um, I'm installing Winamp because that's what he uses the stream from it's a showcast type operation and um, yeah we're gonna go from there but I want to bring my beer back and pick up uh, it's like 11 bucks for six 500 mil cans of of beer so I'm gonna grab six pack and have a couple tonight have a couple tomorrow whatever but what I need to do is figure out well dad's gone and I know he has washers I know he's got some because he works in a machine shop and if he doesn't have one he can just grab something from work that'll work but they're out of town right now and we'll be back till tomorrow but um, gotta wait for him to come back to see if he can hook me up otherwise it's off to crappy to waste friggin five bucks in gas to buy a 49 cent fucking washer yeah buddy also thinking for dinner tonight I'm probably just gonna stove cook some chicken because I still have some of that chicken left so I'm gonna stove cook some chicken and make some friggin Uncle Ben's minute rice the uh, the one that has the flavoring into it it's chicken and rice for supper that should be pretty nutritious delicious and all the other shit and uh, tonight I'm probably gonna play some video games I want to try out that watchdogs if it ever download so you have this problem with my router if you start downloading at any faster than 500 kilobytes a second the router fucking seizes right up and shits to bed then you gotta log into the router and reset the IP because it loses all of its information it's like it just stutter fucks itself so that's no good can't have that happening but it's happening so what do you do you deal but I need a new router too in the near future I'm gonna buy something else so also the other day I got a call from the friggin uh, water heater dicks um, basically they offer furnaces and air conditioning and all that and they're trying to get me to rent a furnace and rent air conditioning and all this bullshit and it's like my furnace is fine it needs some work I gotta call this guy in town he services them have them come over and just fucking tear into it, fix it all up, and make it run awesome and all that. But then these dicks are like, you know, for $9 a month we can warranty your current furnace. And I'm like, well, I didn't buy it off you. And they're like, yeah, we can warranty it though. We can send our dicks over to service it and it covers all sorts of different things and all that junk. And I was like, well, whatever, you know, if you really want to friggin' uh, waste your money and uh, service this, then by all means give her. So um, they're sending over a dick to fucking service the machine. So that's all right. And they wanted me to get central air. Like I explained to them, like, today sucks because I'm at home. Well, th that doesn't, oh yeah. Um, basically, uh, they're gonna send a dick over to service the, uh, the fucking guy, so I don't have to do shit. Now, where the hell is that thing? There it is. Boom. Plop you in there somehow. That didn't work. If I double click on it, what happens? So that pisses it off? Service unavailable. Okay, so we're ready to listen to, uh, my buddy's radio show. Perfect. So, uh, they're gonna do that and all that. It's like nine bucks a month and they bill me at the same time they bill me for the water heater which is all right and they'll take care of my furnace for me but they like the central air uh, like I was saying like it's kinda of pointless for me to get it because usually I wake up at around two three o'clock in the afternoon right or one two o'clock in the afternoon and then after I wake up I'm only here for maybe two hours and then I fuck off to work and work has air conditioning by the time I get off work at midnight it's pretty cool outside you know you crack some windows put a fan in the window and you can really chill out this room pretty big time to the point where you do, do not want to go shirtless you want to wear a shirt because she's fucking cold so it's like I don't really need central air except for on the weekends and that's kind of a stupid reason to have it and like the only other thing is is like okay well maybe the dog and cat would like it but they don't pay the bills so they can go fuck themselves they don't have an opinion right but um they sleep when I'm not here anyway. I check the webcam downstairs. They're fucking passed out. They're just waiting for me to come home. So, not a big deal, not a big deal. But uh, a little bit PO'd about the friggin' mower today. That was kind of a pain in the cack. Really wish I could have got that straightened out, but it is what it is, and uh, I fucked up. So I'm going to have to uh, unfuck up and fix my fuck up, and then no more fuck ups. It'd be awesome. But uh, until then, uh, push mower ahoy. So I use the push mower for most of the, well, for about a quarter of the back and the whole front and uh, the 5 dub 30s holding out the motor didn't explode and blow up in my hand or seize up or anything so I think I should be fine 
But um, I think I'm going to shut her down here, people. Uh, I'm going to call her quits for now. I'm going to head to the beer store, drop off these empties, and get some liquor into me and all that, and then come back and cook my dinner and go from there. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know where that like button is. Give it a clickety-clack. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.